What up, what up, what up, jabronis? I'm Norman the Whisked, and today we're making a pit stop on my Gotcha Hell tour. Yes, that's copyrighted. And we're gonna be diving into one of my personal surprise hits of the year, Alchemy Stars. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so here we are at the home screen and first of all, I am a really big fan of the clean UI. It's super similar to Arknights. I do think Arknights is definitely a bit better, but it's very smooth. It's uh, got a lot of style to it. It's very nice. Anyways, let's jump into a fight. So combat is really, really interesting in this game, actually. Although I do think it's a little bit polarizing. I have a feeling that some people are really going to like it. I have a, also have a feeling some people are really not going to like it. The basic premise is that you try to set up and walk over the same color floor tiles that best suit your teams. For example, my starting move for this team is always going to be using these two converter options to switch up some of the tiles on the floor so that I can walk a little farther. Blue's good. We like blue. Following that, I'm just going to run around and try to get the biggest combo I can so that we can really mess some stuff up. So here we go, get the full 15. And so the longer that you walk, the larger combos you get, the better the skills get, and the more big dick damage I provide. In addition to converters, you've also got supports who usually heal or buff, snipers whose skills activate and beep enemies up even when they're far away, and then detonators are probably gonna be your major DPS. They walk up to the enemy's place and they, they, they blow shit up. There's a lot of room for interesting comps, but uh, yeah, I'm still basically in baby mode. I, I just rearrange them by colors like a goddamn toddler. One thing to note, uh, and it's kind of really, really important, is that the auto AI in this game plays like a bat driving a bicycle. It, it has no idea what the hell it's doing, and it usually does their best job to be as bad as they possibly can. Anyways, that's really the gist of combat. Let's take a look at my teams. So, to preface before the internet collectively laughs at some of my pitiful teams, you really, really have to choose who you want to build in this game. Like, you can see this is my main team, and they're not even maxed all of them. And it costs way too much to max them all. I definitely wasted resources in just maxing these two that I have. But, you know, fuck it. Listen, I'm water was meta at launch, and I'm a Squirtle type of guy. Squirtle squad for life, guys. This team's not so bad. It's my main team, but... Let's, let's take a look at the fire force, huh? Yeah, so I got smoky. That's cool, right? Yeah, this, these guys aren't really that build at all. Uh, let's look, uh, let's look at Sad Sasuke. Okay, so this one's not so bad. It's got a few built people. It's got two, uh, Ascension 3 units. It's, I'm gonna give myself this one, but let's look at Leaf Green, huh? Oh my god. Let's 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 just rip the band-aid off. Look, I, I honestly I wanna build barrel, but something about forest man, they're just kinda like the last on my list. Anyways, this might be the last team I have, but it's certainly not all my units. Let's go see the waifu husbando army, shall we? Here we are, sorted by rating, so you can see I've got quite a collection of six stars, and I think I've got every five star in the game except for Genevieve, but we're not going to talk about that. Similar to Counterside, wink wink, check that video out. This game also has Life 2D for all of its characters, and I just have to say, guys, that I am a Life 2D simp. I see Life 2D, I play the game, I spend too much money on game, rinse and repeat, it is a deadly cycle. Oh, one cool thing to show you real quick is how Ascension 3 works. And so you'll notice here the X's, these are kind of like an Ascension system that works similar to like a prestige system, a la Call of Duty. You hit the max level of a character, the first level cap being 30, then you ascend the character, which ups the level cap, but resets your level and keeps all your stats. But the coolest part is that when you hit Ascension level 3, you get an upgraded portrait slash art of the character, and it is usually so badass, and I think every single character has it. Another thing I like about this game's characters is that while you're definitely seeing a lot of waifus, this game also brings it with the guy characters too. Like, listen, we here we have Michael looking all crazy. He's about to vaccinate six people at once. Then you've got, you know, Sinsa with his ridiculous hammer. He's, 
He's his best boy, man. You've got Hero. She's cool. She's classic waifu, but then you got sexy, sexy looking Floor. I, you know, all the characters in this game have such a charm to them and they all are so unique and so cool looking. And yeah, it makes you really want to pull them, except for these guys. Except for these Satan children. You can move your ass to King Sense. Anyways, let's stop looking at our current peeps and see if we can pull some new faces. All right, so looking at the banners, we look to be pulling for what looks like a buff and old looking version of Thancred from Final Fantasy XIV. And then we also have a cameo from My Life as a Teenage Robot. So yeah, it's been a while since we've seen her. Good to see you again. Anyways, I think they're good banners. Let's see which ones we pull. We're definitely starting with buff dude because we've already got women galore. So I have a bunch of currency. I'm hoping I get both of them. I, I really am, but I've been lucky so far, so it won't be so bad. Well, well, let's take a look at these, huh? Even if none of them are a six star. Take a look at the summoning animation, Dove. All right, one of the first characters in the game. Wildfire. Nails. See, look, look at the designs. I mean, they are, they are cool, man. They are really cool. That's a four star, and he looks cool as hell. Yeah, she looks cool. She looks cool. Her horns look like they're made of paper, though. Crow courier. Let's see. Oh, we got a crow. Okay, this is our five star. Um, I don't really know who we want, but I do like this guy. Um, and it's a dupe, so not bad, not bad. Happy. Yeah. Chainsaw Rick. Okay, okay. Nails. Okay, they really, they really want to give me nails today. I like penguin and bear guy. I do like them. Okay. So now that I've shown you the summon animation, we're probably gonna skip a roof for a couple of the next ones, unless it's a six star. So. uh Let's go. Uh, you got it. No, that's a purple, bro. No. Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. Look at th this nails guy is really, he wants to be maxed, man. He's, he's dying for my attention. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Yeah, six star. Okay, 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 okay. One six star. We take that. We take that. Come home, Daddy Thankred. Come home. War, Mrs. Blank. Hello, hello. I think I have a skin for her. Oh, I didn't show the skins. We'll cut that for now. Okay, okay. Six. Oh, this is five star. Okay, that's fine. I love her design. Life 2D, man. It gets me every time. It gets me every time. Badass crocodile. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. No! It's Gron Rude. No! I don't think I had her, though. So, I can't be that mad. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go again. We're gonna, we're gonna go again. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see what else we can get. I think that's the first time I've pulled an off banner character, actually. So it, it's kind of, I kind of deserve it. TBH. Oh, Nemesis. Okay, I want to max them too. So not so bad, not so bad. But if I don't get them, I'm going to cry. If I don't get them, I'm going to cry. Five again, five stars. Oh, two five stars and another Vivian. If I didn't have her max nails, buddy, you got to go away, buddy. You got to go away. I'm not interested. Oh, God. Okay, I'm running. I'm running a little low. I am running a little low. Okay, another five. Another five star. Let's see. Oh, new. Oh, Beverly. Oh, okay, I guess I didn't have Beverly. So I don't have Beverly. I didn't. I don't have Genevieve either. All right. Not bad. Not bad. At least it's new. At least it's new. Buddy. Okay, last pull. Last pull. This is this is gonna be okay. Here we can see. 
the chance of getting a six star is two percent plus 12.5 percent and so i'm probably gonna get a six star here but whether it's him or not is another question let's 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 see okay 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 let's see okay that's one we're fine with that we're fine with that uh go away peppy not to, oh 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 is this it is this it this is five okay that's five star Area. oh she's cool oh this is it 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 yeah okay okay he came home we got him he looks badass look it's literally thankward look at the gun blade like this this it has to be right white hair he's cool man all right so with that let me talk a little bit about my thoughts on the game i have played alchemy stars casually for sure but almost every day for the last three months since its launch on june 17th i thought that was really awesome for it to launch in every region like near the same time to put it simply i actually really do love this game the production value of this game literally oozes from every crevice in the game there's always like an animated teaser trailer per event and each event has and comes with like a side story like battle modes and even some cool casual side stuff like selling shaved dice something i always neglect to mention in these reviews is the story aspect and i honestly think that's because it doesn't really matter to most people but it does end up being important to me especially when it's obviously bad or obviously good the translation work in this game is top tier i'd say it's probably second to counterside for me but those devs are doing really good work in translating and uh making it kind of seem seamless in english also the devs are really generous with the rewards and even on the pricing on their paid packages i'd say that that's pretty good there's no pve straight up pve only and i think that really works for this game so i'm gonna give this game a 9 out of 10. this is my second favorite release of the year and i can't wait to see where the game goes from here anyways thanks for sticking around let me know in the comments which gotcha game you'd like me to look at next if you did like the video please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel as you can see i'm extremely new and every little thing helps in terms of you know helping the channel grow I've also got a Discord that I'm trying to grow. It's going to be a really good spot for gamers, weebs, and gotcha fanatics alike. Links in the description. We'd be happy to have you. Really appreciate the support. And as always, see you later, jabronis. Peace. Ba, 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 ba.